Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to be showing you how you can upload your tracks to your TuneBud account. So what we've done is we've actually split the admin area. So we have the admin admin area that you've been logging into, and then we have a composers admin area. And the reason we've done that is we don't want necessarily to have composers logging into your actual main website admin area and changing things like your site colors. So if you've got like 100 composers, they're all going to have their own little ad admin area where they can upload their tracks, but they can't do anything else. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So all you need to do to get to that is put in your URL slash composers admin. And to get each account for each composer, all you need to do is very simple, is to just write an email to your key account manager and you just give them the email address and the name of each composer. And then they'll write back to you very quickly. They'll have set up the um, account for you and they'll just give you the login details for each composer. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna log in to this account. So all we have to do is just click the login now and then we're into the upload area. And it's very, very simple for them to get started. All they need to do is click on the new track management upload master tracks and here they can actually upload up to 10 master tracks at once so all you need to do is click on the choose file here for each wav file you have that rhymes then you um, click on the track you want to upload so we click open on that and we give it a test we give it a name so we call it test test one and then just click in somewhere random there and it's uh, just gonna be checking that that's not a duplicate. If that doesn't happen, you can um, just click this button. It'll just check that uh, you've not already used that name in your library. And then what we're gonna do is click upload tracks. And then you'll see that it's actually starting to upload. You'll see the percentage down here. Um, it may be different if you're on a Windows computer, but it starts uploading it, then it'll process it. And that ten, those 10 tracks you can upload at once can make uploading very, very quick, very, very easy. So there we go, it's uploaded. So now you've uploaded the track, uh, what you'll need to do is you'll need to tr uh, complete your track information. So go down to tracks awaiting completion. And now what you're gonna do is we've got this test test one, is click on complete track setup. And we can do things like adding our BPM. So we're just gonna put in 93, we give it a description. You can say um, all about the piece. And then we can add some filter options. So we've added all of these uh, for you. And all you need to do is select the ones which you think uh, meet that track. Uh, so we'll give it some genre. Uh, a style and we'll put in some of the instruments which are in that track uh, so you, you can choose from all, all of these um, things we've got here so yeah it's, it's very very easy all you have to do is just just click on the ones which are in your track so so there we go so that's the instruments and if, there, if there's some keywords, you can also click on those as well. And then all you need to do is just click on create track. And there we go. That's going to start adding that information to the track. And now the track is ready to go live. Like I say, once you've done this, this whole thing, do get in touch with your account manager so they can check that everything's working properly on the first, first try and make sure that everything works for you. There we go, so that's been created, tracks successfully created. And what we can do now is we can add stems, submix, and loops to it. So all we need to do is just click on any of these. So we'll just add a submix. So we'll, we'll use um, the one which we've just uploaded, test test one. And all you need to do is very similar to the master track upload, is just choose your WAV file so uh, I'm just going to use exactly the same track because we don't have submixes for this. It's just a test track. And um, you can put a name for it. 
Um, there we go. Definitive mix. And then we can upload those tracks. And as you can see, it's, it's uploading that again, the same as on the last one. Uh, it'll then process it. There we go. See, processing uploads. And it's that simple to upload your tracks to uh, TuneBud. I'd wait approximately half an hour and your tracks should be live on the site. If 